Hey, it's dark because my little boy's asleep, but I just had a thought. Um, a lot of times I see these uh, work salvationists, uh, repent of sins to be saved preachers, teaching work out your salvation with fear and trembling to either make people think they can lose their salvation or they have to do something for their salvation. We know there's no conditions on the grace of God just to receive and trust in Jesus Christ's life, death, resurrection as a finished work. Um, but uh, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. The word fear, when translated, is more of a reverence for God and a respect for the mighty works that were being done by Paul at that time. But also, what is the most important issue in any human being's life? Where they're going to spend eternity. You better work that out. You better, this is a very serious topic. Decide what you're going to trust in. If you're going to trust in your repentance of sins to get you there, you, you got problems. Um, I've always said people that think, those of us that rely on just the finished work of Christ and teach the free grace, they call it easy believism, that, that's mocking the gospel of, of Jesus Christ. The, the gospel is believe on him alone with nothing else. And uh, this same doctrine was coming in in the early church, and and we've been warned that in the last days men would go the way of Cain, forsake the righteousness of God to establish this, to establish their own righteousness. Um, and you all know this entire channel is just to rebuke and correct all the false teaching. These teachers that are teaching you have to repent of sins to be saved. We should turn from sin once we're saved, but you're only saved when you trust in the finished work of Christ alone. Uh, these people aren't saved. They're running churches and television um, evangelist uh, shows that are reaching millions, and they're all preaching a false gospel that saves no one. And it's really heavy on my heart. Uh, I just wanted to explain that um, it's work out, not work for. If you're working for your salvation, you don't have it. It's for those that worketh not and trust it, when they say it's it's not enough to believe it is it's enough to trust to put your trust and faith that what he did was enough we're all going to continue in sin no one is going to be able to fully live without sin and if you can't you better not bring it into the gospel because you have just placed yourself under the law trust in him we do good works to save others so they can see our faith like in james that our faith can't save anyone which they also use to preach their false gospel. They can't rightly divide the word because the Holy Spirit isn't guiding them. There's no scripture anywhere that uh, can stand if you understand it, it, that can stand and support their, their lie. We have blessed assurance. Once you're saved, you're sealed. You're, you trust in it, you're saved. And just stay in the grace. If you hear any preacher saying you must repent of sins to be saved, or it's grace through faith alone, this is sneaky, but you don't receive it until you repent of sins. That means any addict that's struggling wouldn't be able to be saved. It's just stupid. But if you hear that, turn from that ministry, leave that church. If they're teaching to turn from sin once you're saved and helping you get through these things and giving you some tools and scriptures and helping you grow in grace, that's the true church. That's the real narrow way. Every other religion teaches the same thing, denying the flesh, etc. It's not the way. Um, this video is not all that, but I always go off on a rant. Anyway, um, I hope that cleared that up for you. Thanks. Ah, it won't turn off.